What's up guys? Hope you all are well. Welcome back. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I had this video fully planned out. It's gonna be a great video. I'm gonna give you guys my reaction to the game. I'm gonna share with you guys my excitement, my joy of going to another final. And yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it, it didn't quite work out like that. And unfortunately, Liverpool lost last night and uh, there's a lot of negativity surrounding the club at the moment. But I think it's still a good idea to give you guys my reaction to the game last night. Yeah, just give you guys my views, my opinion, my, my feelings and everything and uh, hope you guys do enjoy it. And as always guys, remember to smash a huge thumbs up if you guys do enjoy the video. Remember to subscribe below if you guys haven't subscribed already. 3,000 subscribers, thank you so much for that. But uh, let's get straight into the video. Chan had a shocking game last night, eh? Finds Trent on the outside. Cracking pass. I remember watching that and be like, yo, great pass. And unfortunately he finds the keeper. There was, a, there was another chance similar to that as well, where we found where we found the keeper once again. Trent there was kind of caught out, I was a bit upset with that, and uh, Redmond was literally made to look like fucking Cristiano Ronaldo last night. Tadic should have scored, and a cracking, cracking save, Loris Karius. Loris Karius literally kept us in the game last night, kept us in the game over the two ties, and you know what? Credit where it's due, he did extremely well. And I think he deserves a lot of praise. I mean, that chance now for Tadic could have easily gone in. And Liverpool had to chase the game from early on. Great save, Loris Karius. Once again, Redmond. He was literally like Ronaldo last night. Beats one, beats two. Shocker. Absolute shocker. Davy skies it. But Joel Matip was skinned alive. Literally, he was meant to be there to help um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, right? And he just... He just like didn't do his job at all. I thought the experience of uh, Joel Matip would come in handy and he didn't play well at all. Coutinho finds Chan. I remember when he shot him like, yes, great shot. Oh, is it in? Is it not in? Is it in? And I remember like thinking it was over the line. I thought, I thought maybe the ref got it quite wrong, but it wasn't a goal. It wasn't a goal. Or, like, it wasn't even like nearly over the line. It was like on the line. And uh, he recovered very well. I thought, you know what? Liverpool are going to get so lucky and maybe sneak a goal. It's not over the line. Like, that's not over the line. And it's a great save. Poor, poor keeping in the beginning, but a great stop uh, after that. And uh, you know what? I actually thought Liverpool took the lead. I really thought so. And Stadji, unfortunately, couldn't, couldn't nod it in. Eh? Milner finds himself out wide. Shocking performance all bloody game. All game. And Danny Stadji there, unfortunately, knocks over from a good area. I mean, that's the kind of chance which you want to fall to Danny Stadge. Great technical ability and uh, he hits over. I mean, a ball comes in, yeah. Oh, I think he had a lot more time than he thought he had, to be honest with you. I mean, Danny Stadge, he wasn't bad, but like, to me, he's looking a shadow of his, of his former self, eh? Really is. I thought at the time that was a penalty. I thought it was a penalty at the time and on the replay, I think it wasn't, like, I think he slightly gets the ball. I mean, after the game as well, Jürgen Klopp even said it wasn't a penalty. So if he says it wasn't a penalty, you know what, it wasn't a penalty. And uh, unfortunately, this is the breakaway. Uh, that's Steven Davis, I think. It, no, no. Oh, that's that youngster. I uh, forgot his name. And uh, opened up alive. Really, Henderson does the best he can. And uh, Shane Long finds the net. I remember when the ball went in there, I just remember like sinking into my seat and like putting my hands on my face like this and just being like, what the fuck just happened? Like, it's, it's a hard thing to take. I mean, good finish, but it's a, it's a hard defeat to take, especially that, you know what? We're one game away from making the final and all we had to do was beat Southampton. Like, they're a good side, but we are Liverpool Football Club, you know what I mean? And that's the final whistle and Klopp has to accept it. So, uh, <laughs> where do I even start, to be honest with you? Uh, last night was one of those games where you like expect so much and you just get left so disappointed. Like, the players gave their all, but they have a lot more quality to show. Klopp has a lot more quality to him. His tactics for me were really bad. I mean, the thing is, you saw that a bank of six, a bank of three, and then one up top. They literally had nine defenders at a stage, right? So you can't play through the middle. And Shane Long even said that their tactic was to push us out wide. Yes, we crossed the ball a lot, but it doesn't help if you've got no one in the box, right? And that's where I was very upset. 
You're crossing the ball, but you only have one man to aim at. One man in the box, and that's that's not acceptable. Throw men up there, all right? Runs in from midfield, from Henderson, from Chan, from Lalana. It never happened. I never saw Lalana in the box once. I never saw Chan in the box once. That's unacceptable. You're chasing the game, and you are playing so defensive, right? Throw the kitchen sink at it. Really have a go, and I felt like we didn't. I really felt like last night there was a lot more to give from us. I thought there was a lot more pressure to, to put on Southampton. They weren't phased. They really didn't have a spell where they're like, oh shit, maybe we're going to concede. There was no spell for like 5-10 minutes, let's say, where you're constantly pressing, constantly putting balls into the box there, constantly getting chances. There was nothing. There was really nothing like that, and that's why I'm a little bit upset about Klopp. You can still be critical of Klopp and still fully back him to succeed, fully back his ability. And last night he got it wrong, okay? He did get it wrong, that doesn't mean I don't back him, I don't, excuse me, <laughs> I don't trust him, right? I still back him, I still trust him, and I still think he will be a huge success at Liverpool. He's the best thing that's happened to Liverpool in the past five years, hands down. Really, he's the best that's happened to us, and it would be criminal, suicidal, right, to sack him, suicidal. Do not even think like that. Any one of you guys who think that Klopp should be sacked, please, I'm the wrong person to be following. You're supporting the wrong team, okay? Klopp is the best thing that's happened to us. Back him, trust Klopp, but last night he got it wrong, right? Danny Stadge had one or two chances, but, you know, nothing really worth noting. They were half chances, nothing more than half chances, and that's, that's all they really were. And that's why I, I, I'm a bit upset, right? We didn't create these clear-cut chances, these, these chances that you should be bearing. No one-on-ones, no chance that you should be like, fuck, how did you miss that? Yes, they're half chances they could go in, but they weren't so easy. And that's why I'm upset, because there weren't that many chances in the game. And it's, it's, it's hard to take, it's really hard to take, especially that you want it so much, and you want Liverpool to go to another final at Wembley, and it just didn't happen. Right now, we are in a rut. We are in a complete shambles, and uh, I don't know how we're gonna get out of it, right? I, I, I don't know how we're gonna get out of it, but we need to believe, and we need to trust Klopp that we are gonna be back on track soon, right? That's all we can do. We need to back Klopp, back his ability, and we will bounce back. We will get there, right? So, that's where, that's where I stand on the whole thing. So, what do you guys think of last night's result? Obviously, like, you guys aren't happy, but what do you guys think went wrong, right? Let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'm quite interested to see where you guys thought the game was won and lost. Um, but otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Remember, guys, smash a huge thumbs up if you guys haven't subscribed already. I'm gonna, what? <laughs> smash a thumbs up if you guys haven't already. Please subscribe below if you guys haven't subscribed below already. I'm not even making any sense right now. Uh, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video, right? So, uh, Hope you guys do enjoy the video tomorrow and I'll catch you soon. I'm not making any sense. See, see ya, bye.